going to tell you how to install oracle database in microsoft windows first of all go to oracle.com then click then click on downloads or you can go to downloads then click on oracle database okay after doing this okay then click on accept license agreement just click here one time and you can see thank you for accepting the OTN license and then select Microsoft Windows X64 64 bit just download file one that's it after downloading extract the file I have already done this so I'm not going to repeat this after opening the folder uh, you will see setup so just double click on this and you will see this will pop up so first uncheck this as we do not require any update and just provide your email address okay then click on next here you select create and configure a database we are going to create a database right now and click on next then select desktop class or server class whichever you want I'm going with desktop class then use virtual account please do not change this as this account is required to run services of Oracle database in your computer so please do not change it leave it as it is then just uh, click on next okay here we are using which you use virtual account click on next here you must change leave everything as it is okay don't change anything just change this global database name this is SID okay uh, you will know what is SID later on this is required SID username passwords okay so change it from ORCL to something else please change it otherwise you will you will not be able to log in in SQL plus okay so just change it to something else anything you want like uh, I am going to use QW okay anything you want mm, then password okay just type S Y S T E M system and then in second one also S Y S T E M okay then uncheck this create as container database okay just leave it after this everything has been done just click on next okay I have given password system system I will recommend you that you use password as a system because the username in SQL plus uh, it's system by default so just click on next and you will see the password and does not conform to the oracle document okay it, it doesn't matter just click on yes okay you will say that see that prerequisite checks will perform after this uh, after this page you will see this is summary you can save the response file i'm not going to do this you can save it then click on install okay then you can see the progress and after that it will finish just finish it